two weeks, this Pasco County woman has been trying to figure out when and where to get the shot. Tonight, we're looking into why so many of you are having a hard time getting vaccinated. Across the state, Florida seniors are waiting in long lines to receive a coronavirus vaccine that's in short supply. On this last day of 2020, Donna St. Martin was online and on the phone looking for the shot. The, the two slots they had for today were already filled. Well, we want it. My husband and I both want it. And a lot of that has to do with family. But this is what Donna sees when she tries to sign up on the Pasco Department of Health website. Sold out, no appointments available. Tell me where I am in line. People just want to know where they stand. And I think that would relieve a lot of the anxiety about it. Tonight, Eight on Your Side is looking into the rocky vaccine rollout. Some health experts say the problem is the Fed's plan putting states in control. But USF Public Health Professor Jay Wolfson disagrees. He says the feds produce the guidelines, but the state is dropping the ball. What is the state not doing? The state is not articulating a clear operational set of guidelines as to how this will and shall be rolled out. Wolfson says by now, Florida's vaccine rollout plan should be set in black and white. Then individual counties like Pasco could implement the uniform rules. That is not happening. When should the vaccine be made available to 65 and older? When there's enough to give it out. Otherwise, you're going to create confusion and distrust. Then it's going to be like people going to get three loaves of bread and 500 of them are in line. So along with the clear plan from the state, we need more of the vaccine. For example, this week, Pasco County received 3,500 doses, but there's over 100,000 seniors in the county alone. And the Tampa Newsroom, Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.